I founded Chicago a cappella to fill what I saw as a void in the Chicago music scene. I wanted to do something that nobody was doing in Chicago. I wanted to create a vocal ensemble that was wide-ranging in its tastes and populated with singers who could handle any kind of style musically that you threw at them. The beauty of it is that whoever makes up the ensemble at any point in time. When you're listening, you have the feeling that no one else on earth could possibly do that. The musicianship is superb. The voices are just golden. And I like the selections of music. Whatever idiom they're doing, they do a great job. They have fun with it. They do it in innovative and creative ways. And they have wonderful voices. Well, Chicago a cappella has been on a growth curve for the last six years that I've served on the board and I go back to when I became a subscriber, going back 15 years, where we were singing in two or three venues perhaps, and now we have a full concert season in four venues. Chicago a cappella is becoming a really a fixture on the Chicago music scene, well known, much appreciated and the audience is growing at a pace that we're very happy about and of course the audience growth is matched by the artistic growth and that's the really important thing. I want to provide the audience with a journey where they are taken somewhere uh, with a huge amount of variety because that's the kind of concert I myself would like to go to. The joy and the fun and the passion for me in programming is to find a really cool idea could be, you know, the Taste of Paradise concert, music about food, or it could be one of our holidays programs, or a program about spirituals, or Jewish music, or a program about love, or a program about musical texture. And my job as the programming guy is to take an idea that's big enough that it can, that, that theme is the scaffolding, if you will, to take the audience on a musical and emotional journey. Each concert, as the fans of Chicago a cappella know, each one is different when someone says they can't come to birds and bees but they'll come they'll come next time and you say no you, you'll never hear this again you'll enjoy the french concert you'll enjoy the latin american concert but this you will never hear again once you come to a concert you can't imagine not coming back to the next one so i hope more people come try it once and like us you'll be hooked and come back has had the opportunity to engage in several educational and community outreach programs throughout the Chicago area. We've done work with the Chicago Public Schools, we've had a collaboration with the Chicago Children's Choir, and we've worked with students in many of Chicago's suburban community schools. I loved that they had a high school group here as part of the concert, and I hope that they continue to do that, and I think it's just so great to have that professional connection and really make people think that music is important and you can do something with it if you want to. Just this past winter, we invited students from all four of our Chicago concert communities to join us on stage for our Roll Jordan Roll Spirituals concerts. It was a great opportunity for the students to join us and rehearse with us under the tutelage of Jonathan Miller and Patrick Sinizich and an opportunity for us to mentor them as they are the new generation of Chicago choral singers and hopefully Chicago a cappella. Obviously these are amazing singers and to be able to share the stage with them or if that the people who came to hear them and their amazing voices are also going to hear ours, it's just, it's quite an experience. There was a moment during the rehearsal where the students were singing with us on stage where 
I watched the Evanston Choir perform and it reminded me of the passion and excitement and no holds barred feeling about music that I had when I was a high school student and was just a thrill to watch this new generation of singers grow and learn. What's really exciting is that Chicago a cappella is now making concrete plans to make our dreams about being more involved in the community into a reality. I think Chicago a cappella is a great community resource and we can share the joy and the knowledge that our singers have of a cappella music and singing together without instruments with a new generation of singers that will be coming along and whether or not uh, these students, um, elementary and high school students that we might work with, ever become professional singers, they will always have that connection and that joy and that experience and they'll take it through their lives. What it does for me, it totally brings an incredible peace and calmness to my soul and uh, it just envelops me in, in a whole different world and so that's what Chicago Capella has done for me and I love it. I, I love everything about it. I want someone to come to a Chicago a cappella concert, and even if some of the songs are sad or poignant or heartfelt, I fundamentally want someone to have an experience of joy, awe, wonder. There's a joy at being alive, and the music that we sing, the music that we put on the programs, is all a vehicle for that most fundamental human connection. I want to connect with audiences. I want people to feel like they have been individually spoken to by what has transpired on stage. Each and every one of these concerts is truly a gift. We both had lousy weeks, you know, came home Friday night grumpy as heck. And then to come here tonight and to see these individuals pour their heart, their soul, their talent into this music was truly a gift. We. We're glowing, we're so happy after such a night. I went to, oh, my Chicago Pella is doing this, or my Chicago Pella is doing that, and I noticed that I always put that pronoun in front of it, and I have no singing capacity whatsoever. I don't know how to read one note, uh, but I feel that I am part of that, and that's, that's very exciting, and it brings a smile to my face, <laughs> so I love it. <laughs>